Oh no, no. You let go of him. You let Oh my god, I will be so freaking sad if they kill Frank off right now. What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoos. You are awesome and thank you for joining me once again on our journey through the Pathless. This is a third person action adventure game from the makers of Abzu. Uh, so far there's this three eyed dick named the God Slayer, calling himself the God Slayer, that has uh, poisoned this land and poisoned its gods. We have been going through one by one and uh, cleansing them and we got our little friend Frank with us this little eagle given us to given to us by the eagle mama I have a theory that it actually is the eagle mama just a, a um a material incarnation of an astral god whoop water and I hate water that's one thing about this game that I just very much dislike so we just defeated um what mud called the the, the danger noodle which was kind of fun and we're heading to the fourth plateau, and this one looks um, a little more significant. The uh, the god of this one was not on this giant totem up here. And it looks like this giant totem is where we're headed. Up into the mountains we go. Woohoo! Now these sigils. This is how we move around. We we blast these sigils with our arrows. And sometimes, because we defeated the second boss, we get more powerful ones. Where we do a weird backflip. Hey, there's a path. One of the few paths in the pathless here. And then the name of the game for each level is there's uh, three totems. And then we have to get a number of talismans to place in each totem to cleanse it. And then the totems start to cleanse the the boss, and then we go fight the boss after he runs from us for a, for a while. So this giant whirlwind should take us to the top. With the help of our buddy Frank. And away we go. So we'll probably get to see what we're fighting. It looked like uh, those things from Rygar. I've mentioned this before. If you ever played the Nintendo game Rygar, it was like a 2D side scroller, but then it would turn into like a top down thing and you would have these weird crab turtles that would come after you. And this boss looks like some kind of crab turtle, judging by his hieroglyph. We got a path through the mountain. We got a tunnel through the mountains here. Nice. That's kind of cool. A little bit of a frame rate drop. Oh, we got a cutscene already. We get to see our turtle? Oh no, it's the path, it's the God Slayer himself. We have, oh there he is. Got that fucking sword, he cut her titty earlier. Yeah, you tell him. Yeah, Frank's telling him off too. Oh, it's creepy how his eyes move like that. No, 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 you leave Frank alone. Yo, the last battle, Frank, they put baby in a corner. They put Frank in some kind of bu bubble. I swear, if this is one of those games where they do some shit like they kill off Frank, oh, I, I will come for you, giant squid. Oh. Okay, I tried to dodge that. Nothing happened. This can't be the final fight. We still got one more boss to cleanse. Uh, shit, I cannot. Did I, did I actually dodge that? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't have any stamina. I got very little stamina. Oh, I did not dodge. Oh, he knocked me on my ass. Oh, no, no. You let go of him. You let. Oh, my God. I will be so freaking sad if they kill Frank off right now. Oh, don't do it. Oh, my God. Like, I'll be real life sad and angry if they kill fucking. Oh, my God, Frank. No. Oh, look at him, poor thing. <laughs> no. Oh no. Yeah, that's right. Does compare to yours? So just leave him alone. Just, just let him be. Oh fuck! Is he dead? Oh, he, oh my god. <laughs> this can't be happening. No, 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 no. 
Oh my god, you didn't slay the tall one. Maybe they are slaying them. Those are their spirits I was cleansing. Oh. He just wants a path. That's all he wants. He's willing to kill everybody to get to it. Okay, go crawl over to him. Crawl, crawl, crawl to Frank. Get, get over there. Oh no, she passed out. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be dead, Frank. Don't be dead. Frank! Ha <laughs> ha, Frank! Frank is alive. Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a relief. I get attached to shit like this. Oh, that would have been like fucking never ending story when Atreyu slips into the bog of despair or whatever it was. Sorry if I just spoiled never ending story for you, but if you haven't seen the never ending story yet, then uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? That was a great movie, The Never Ending Story. I don't know how it holds up today. A lot of times you think movies are great from your childhood and then you watch them and it's like, eh, it's not so great. I imagine The Never Ending Story holds up pretty well because like, I've watched The Labyrinth and, and I've watched um, The Dark Crystal fairly recently and they both held up quite nicely. I think it's because they used, instead of relying on like cheesy special effects, they just used like puppets, like real puppets. So they did never ending story. I think that's why uh, it holds up so well. So we're going to a burning forest here. It looked like a tunnel into the mountain, but I guess not. Finally, we get some stamina. We can move along. Okay. So we are under the mountain. The burning forest, just an illusion. I used to play Ark a lot. Oh. And I would get so attached to my dinosaurs. They're just pixels. They're not real, but I would still get very attached to them. Just like I'm a... Just like I love my Frank. Don't you touch my Frank. Alright, so there's the towers in the background that hold the... That are the, that are the totems. Looks like we got some red right over there. So let's head on over. I thought we had five flaps. Is that all he did? Is he took a flap away? That's all the God Slayer did. He didn't hurt Frank at all. He just took a just took a little flap away. Oh, okay, now we get to see what we're gonna be fighting against. It's always a mystery because they never look like what they actually are. Humo. It's gonna be a bear. I'm so Soros was a lizard. I guess Cere Cerebus or whatever, I guess that has something to do with deer. Kumo is definitely bear. Oh, he looks badass. I know Kumo, Kumo is bear in Japanese. I know that because I'm an anime weeb. As I'm sure a lot of you also are. I think Kuma is bear. Is there an opening over here? Woohoo! Oh, looks like we can get some. Oh, that's the God Slayer statue. They've got some crystals, I reckon. We get our flat back. So that's all the red was, was some crystals. It's fun. Can I just go right up over there? No. One thing about this game, you never know if you're going the right way. I guess there is no right way. More than one way to skin a cat in this game. It's going to add to the replay ability. Oh, music's getting a little epic. Epic-y. Ooh. We're in a luge. Well, this is fun. I feel like I'm playing Apex Legends. Whoa. We go to another cutscene? Oh, what the hell? Uh, okay, we can't go that way anymore. Oh, time to run from the bear.
All right, so this thing's gonna have a flashlight inside its face and we can't be seen by the flashlight. Oh, that thing, let me get a screenshot. Oh, I missed it. Where is it? Right there. So we can't move in the light. All right, he's gone. I'm sure he'll show up right in front of us. All we need to do is get the Frank. Once we get the Frank, we're good. Oh, he's coming right for me. Okay, I can't. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck me, fuck me. I am so fucked right now. He, okay, he didn't see me? He didn't see me. Whoo! Whoo, that was close. That was close. All he does is he stomps and you lose all your crystals. At least he's got a low light that doesn't shine over things, and he doesn't have four of them like the like the Hydra had. He's not so bad. So at this point, we can just run straight to Frank, I think. And pick him up. Got him. All right, now we got to wash our bird. Whoa, our, okay, we were standing on nothing for a second there. Let's wipe our bird off. Get all this corruption off of you, buddy. I thought I'd lost you, Frank. Hey. Oh, yeah, a little nuzzles. A little bit of nuzzles. Give me them nuzzles. Uh, let's queue and see. Well, there's a lantern right there. There's something red up there. And there's a tower up there. And I'm out of stamina because I was over in that fire realm. Off we go. I like sliding, that's fun. So it seems like each plateau has been a different season. This one is obviously winter. What's that big, that's big statue's got, oh. I got lifties. I'm just gonna kinda go wherever, wherever the wind takes me here. Oh, 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 there we go, now we're cooking with gas, what do we got up here, talisman perhaps, nothing inside there, drop me down Frank, Okay, so there's something we can hit there. And it's one of those things where we can change the symbol. The symbolism. Okay, and it looks like we got a lava pit inside this cage. Uh, I'm sure that'll have something to do with something. Okay, so we got another symbol thing right here. Hey, let's change it to bear right now. Okay, it's already on bear. Shit, son of a bitch. Okay, oh. <laughs> I gotta stop clicking. We change that one to bear. I don't know what order we're supposed to go. Okay, so we got... Cerebus there. Bear. Is there one of these things over here? Let's change it to bear. Got it. What I just accepted this crab thing as a bear. And this is the hammerhead giraffasaurus. Got it. Let's see what this one is. Bear. Didn't we change the bear? We did. So what the problem is? Oh, we didn't do this final one. So where is, where is it? Did it fall all the way down or something? We need to change something over here to Cerebus. 
Oh, it's all the way down here. I said, oh god. I felled. There we go. And our reward is a pit of lava. Lovely. Oh, there's not a pit of lava. Oh, there's a talisman. Very nice. Oh, all we gotta do is press it down. Nice, we got our first talisman. I don't know how many we're gonna need. There's a chest of crystal. Very nice. Since we're missing a flap because of that Dick the God Slayer. Now where to, Buckaroo? I guess we can go over to the tower and figure out what we gotta do, how many talismans we're gonna need. Wonder if we can make it all the way over. Can we land here? Okay, good. Good, good, good. What's with the power sigils? Some of them are still orange and some of them are blue. I think the... Hmm. Well, it looks like the storm's coming for us again or we're just really close to it. How many do we need? We need two. We're going to need two. So where is our next one? Looks like we got stuff over there and over there and over there. And right down there. There's stuff all over the place. We'll just float down nice and gentle. Oh, I, I, I mentioned in a previous video the, um, when I was a prison guard, we called the guy Cupid because he supposedly killed his girlfriend and her lover with one arrow by pinning them both to the bed. I looked it up to try and find out if that was actually true because I never looked it up while I was at the prison. Uh, the prison I worked at was the Rockview State Penitentiary in uh, Pennsylvania. It's max security prison. But, uh, okay, it's one of the things where it got shoot down. Oh! Why did I, why did I drop? Let's try and shoot down. I'm sure that's not it. We're gonna have to move something. Let's just try and shoot through all of these and see what happens. But, um... Oh, we actually did something. Nice. But, um... Yeah, I looked it up. I, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find if it was true or not. There were a few inmates. Oof. Where I actually did look stuff. That, that's all that was. Where I actually did look stuff up to see if... Find out if their stories were true. Um, because, like, one guy told me he was in for doing donuts on a school football field. I'm like, there's no fucking way this guy's in a maximum security prison for doing donuts on a school football field. So I looked his story up. Turns out, um, yeah, he was doing donuts on a school football field, but that's not the full story, of course. What ha happened was... He was doing donuts and he, and he got caught and he, he got put in a county jail. And while he was on work release from the county jail, to like pick up trash or some shit, he, uh, he just walked away and went home. <laughs> so he en ended up getting charged with escaping prison, which is a felony offense, which is why he ended up in a maximum security prison for doing donuts on a football field. Kind of funny. Oh, and I looked up. There's this one inmate that, like, none of the guards really fucked with at all. Uh, old man Johnson, he was like a real old dude. And, uh, the story goes that he was in for, um, what had happened is he, he owned a shop. And some guys, uh, tried to rob him, some armed robbers. And, uh, he, he shot them. He shot one. Okay, we're gonna have to melt this. He shot one in the store, but what got, which is fine, that's self-defense, but what got him was, he, uh, he followed the other one out into the street and shot him in the back as he was trying to run away. But I guess the other guards just felt that that was, uh, he was vindicated for shooting the guy. 
And uh, so they just didn't uh, enforce a lot of the rules with him, and he got his own... He was allowed to have his own uh, cell, which is uncommon. Huh. Oh god, I have to go all the way down here. Which isn't right. I mean, we weren't we weren't there to like we weren't there to punish them. We were just there to enforce the rules of the prison. Like their punishment was being removed from society or whatever. So we shouldn't have been more lax with one person than another, but we were. <laughs> it happens, I guess. Now these things I gotta like float to shoot like I gotta light these torches. Maybe there's another torch that we can light. Don't look like it. Maybe I'm shooting at the wrong one. Maybe I need to shoot at that one. Okay, and we'll drop and fire. Haha, <laughs> I got it. That was a boring ass job, that prison. It was 99% of it was just watching dudes live their life. It was like being a glorified babysit. Fuck me. Okay, this is gonna be hard to get, oh, maybe I should just stand over here. Maybe that's what I should do. There were a few uh, butt puckering moments at the prison. There was one time I was working um, at kitchen I was on kitchen detail. Sorry, I'm trying to figure this out. Which was kind of a dangerous job to do because there were like knives and, and other stuff in there. The knives were attached to metal bars with um, steel wire. So it wasn't that dangerous. Come on now. But uh, they also had these giant steel paddles that they used to like stir shit. But and you don't have weapons when you're a prison guard. Like, what's the use when you're outnumbered like a hundred to one? They'll just beat you up and take your weapon, you know. So we did, it's not like I had a gun or a baton or anything like that. Do I even need to light that? Where the fuck did that go? Now, I assume I need to use this to call that out. Do I need to light this one? Try to walk over here, I guess? Yeah, I was in, in, in the power went out when I was in the kitchen. On my kitchen duty. Which is a dangerous time when you're a prison guard, because that's when they actually attack guards. They usually don't do shit to the guards, but uh, when the power's out and you can't identify your attackers, that's when they'll fuck you up. One of the differences between the guards and inmates is guards always had hats on, so I took my hat off so that would my silhouette wouldn't look like a guard, and I crouched down in a corner so that I didn't get assaulted by 20 inmates. And I see this giant shape coming towards me. I'm like, oh, fuck, here we go. So I grab my radio. That's the only thing I had. I was ready to start coming out swinging with my radio. But the shape stopped in front of me. And just, was just stood there the whole time. And it was like, okay, okay, what's going on? Finally, the lights came back on. There was this inmate named, uh, we called him Beetle. What's going on here? And uh, Beetle had, I think he held the national record for um, for squats. At least for a while he did. So he was a big fucking dude. But yeah, when lights come on, it was Beetle standing there. He just turned around and looked at me. He's like, I had you, Mr. Bragg. You're good. <laughs> I was like, oh, thanks, man. <laughs> so he was, just, uh, he was just looking out for me. Nice guy. Nice guy, that Beetle. <laughs> do I even need to light that torch? Okay, it's lit. Now, can I do anything with it for 
fuck's sake. Oh, go back up. Thank you. Oh, go up, go back up. <laughs> Can I like, shoot all the way through here? Man, I do not get it. Do. I can't hit it. I can't light that torch. Maybe I just need to get a little higher and then drop shot it. Son of a bitch. That's all I had to do. Yeah, Beetle had my back. The whole time. that do it? Is that even hitting anything? So it's not going all the way through. Yeah, I, yeah, I keep thinking I have this one figured out and it turns out I don't. What are these here? We're on fire while we're in the spirit realm here. Okay. Okay. I guess that's what it was. Cool. Oh my God. Did I just do all that for some chests? I just do all that for some fucking chests. Another exciting prison guard story. So. Um, I was a prison guard after I was in the Marine Corps. Um, got out of the Marine Corps, did a couple of different jobs, then became a prison guard. But I was actually, I was still in shape, and uh, most of the guards there were not. There were big fat fuckers that never did anything physical in their life. They just sit, sat on their fat asses and watched dudes live, as I was talking about earlier. This one time, I wasn't, I wasn't even um, on duty that day. I was just, uh, we were there for some training. And, uh, that's something over there. Why is it not red? It's a different color. Color. But, uh, I went to the dining facility to get some cream and sugar because I wanted it for my coffee. And they didn't have any in the training room. While I was on the way over there, a shank fight broke out. You know, shanks being the manufactured knives that they would make. And, uh, so I just stand there watching them because I'm not going to get in the middle of it. I'm not going to try and break up a shank fight. I don't have my own shank. I don't have a shank in this fight. So I had to just kind of wait till another prison guard came around the corner that had a radio. And I was like, hey, man, there's a big shank fight over here. And, uh, so he radioed it in. A whole bunch of guys came out. And the inmates took off running. Well, I naturally took off chasing one down because we got all the all the guards there. We can actually do our thing. We outnumber them. So I'm chasing this guy all through the, like, we had a square in the middle of the dining facility. Chasing this guy all through the square. Oh, this is the thing I already did. Chasing this guy all through the square, right? Go up there. Uh, no, we've already been up there. I chased him down. Um, he threw the shank away in mid, like mid run, but I figured somebody behind me would would see it and pick it up. And I just keep uh keep going, tackle him down, start to cuff him up, and uh, I'm looking around for the guys that came with me. Nobody came with me. By myself. And those fat fucks were kind of strolling am amiably towards me. After I'd ran this guy down. It's like, what if... 
What if I was on my own and this guy had the knife and I've got, you know, nothing but my fists? Hated that job. It was one of those jobs where people felt that they were the shit because they had been there longer than you. So, you know, everybody would fuck each other with, with each other. Fuck each other. Everybody would fuck with each other, rag on each other. And the thing with me was that I was young. Like, whatever. This one guy, I guess, who was supposedly the king shit of Turd Mountain for fucking with people. We're in the DFAC one day, and he shows up. He's like, oh, hey, Bragg. Does your mom know you're working here? And this dude was fat, like, really fat. Huge belly. And I responded with, oh, hey, what's up, Higgins? Uh, does your wife know you're pregnant? <laughs> and, and, like, even, even the old-timers were laughing at that one. Oh, he was pissed. Like, he, was, he, like, wanted to fight me. Like, for real fist fight me over that, because I had fucking... Owned him at his own fucking game. Okay, I can't get up there. Man, this place is massive. I'm gonna have to cut this this one up into a couple different videos, I think. But yeah, I hated being a prison guard. That's why I went active duty army. I just wanted to do something other than be a prison guard. And I missed the, uh, missed the military. Yeah, okay, so the blue ones pop you up. The other ones shoot you forward. Alright, so we got us a puzzle here. Is it going to give us just, uh... What we got? Alright, so I gotta shoot around these. So let's move this one a little bit. Let's just move them a little bit. Move this one a little over. Oh, right, good. But, uh, yeah, um. Yeah, I got bored, so I joined the. Actually, joined the National Guard first. But I hated that National Guard unit, so I joined the Army Reserves. The re only reason I didn't join the Marine Corps Reserves is because the closest Marine Corps Reserve Station was like two hours away from me, whereas the Army Reserve Station was. Or the National Guard Station was. 15 minutes away from me and the army reserve station was maybe 20 minutes away from me but yeah I hated that hated the national that's all I got was crystals did they did it even give me the crystals do I have to go collect them no they just straight up gave them to me but yeah I hated that national guard unit when I joined the national guard unit the only position they had available was for a medic and I was like yeah cool I'll be a combat medic that sounds fun but they have this thing in the National Guard where you, that's your, that's your job, that's your MOS as they call it. But they say you're, you're not MOS queued, you're not qualified for your MOS. Which is fine, you just, you just, that's what you're going to be until you go to school and then you're qualified. However, they would use me in qualified medic positions as if I knew what the fuck I was doing. I just, I knew basic first aid for being in the Marine Corps. That's about it. But they were like, I know one time we were doing our, like, uh, you know, one week in a month training. We went to, um, God, I forget the name of that place was. It's a it's National Guard base in Pennsylvania. I'm going to go up that path. I got nowhere else. I got no, nothing else better to do. Yeah, so, um,. That weekend we were doing the grenade range, live grenade range, and they and you have to have a medic on standby whenever you do a range like that. They're like, okay, cool. Uh, we need you to be the medic for when we do the live grenade range. I'm like, uh, I'm not qualified to be a medic. I don't, uh, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do if somebody injures themselves with a live grenade. And they're like, oh, well, I mean, you just call the ambulance. I mean, there's not much you can actually do if somebody does blow themselves up with a grenade anyway, even if you did know what you were doing. And I'm like, what the fuck is actually this? Like, how's that? 
So stupid. So that's why I ended up joining the, um, the Army Reserves. Plus, they're like, they didn't, most weekends we didn't do shit. Um, when I got there, I, I had a soldier, and I asked him what he does all weekend, and he said, uh, I usually just do my college work and sleep. I'm like, okay? And he's, he's like, you know, I, it's not because I'm lazy, it's, I, I want to do my job, but there's no opportunities for, for training. So, I got in contact with the local hospital and organized a blood drive, and I set it up so I, he couldn't take blood from civilians, but they did allow him to take blood from soldiers that volunteered to give blood. So at least he got some experience with medical stuff. Because that's your job as an NCO, not really to know your job as much as train your soldiers to do their job. So I at least got him some training and alleviated his boredom a little bit. But yeah, like, nobody else had tried to do anything for this kid. They were just letting him do college classes and sleep all weekend whenever he had duty. Ugh, fucking National Guard. What did this say? Eagle Mother wished to alleviate her son's loneliness, so she grew many animals of the plateau. Grew them well beyond their normal stature, so that Kumo would have friends with him with whom he could wrestle. Oh, <laughs> and that is why today we encounter so many giant bones among the plateaus. I knew those sh those shits were way bigger than they needed to be. Like that huge ass Triceratops head. But it was no fun wrestling his siblings. Cernos was shy. Namui haughty and Soro fought too hard. Kumo loved to wrestle with the animals of the land, but he quickly grew much larger than even the biggest animals, and he had nobody with which to play. I think we're re reading these in reverse order. Even as a newborn, Kumo was large and powerful. He was rambunctious and liked nothing better than to wrestle. Bear wrestling. Okay, so we gotta go through a whole bunch of these. So this is the only one we can move, huh? Can we move this one too? All right, so Frank, move that up. Okay, so let's fly up. Oh, okay, now grab it, Frank. Pull that up to me. Is that too far? Back down and release. Hopefully that'll be good enough. Oops, I flapped what I meant to drop. There we go. But yeah, and then, um... Oh, that one floats back down, okay. Yeah, is that it? Is that it? Oh my god! Oh, finally! All right, so let's go to the tower. Probably gonna call it a day on this particular video after we get this. We get our. Oh my God! Do I need? Do I need three though? There's a tower right over there. Just float one over. Take the slow scenic route. This is gorgeous right here. Let's uh, let's screenshot that. I screwed up my screenshot. There we go. Maybe we'll stop over there. No, we already did that. This is blue. Is that right? Is that how it goes? Yep, I already did that. Eh, 
All right, let's go have to run up the side of the mountain here. It was half cricket, half billy goat. Oop. All right, so let's hope we just need two. Get to the ring. This last level, like, I wonder if they're going to do the thing where, like, you know, a lot of times the boss, bef like, they have, like, a sub-boss before the main boss, and the sub-boss ends up being, like, way harder than the main boss. Yes, we just need to. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this portion of the Pathless. Next time, we'll, uh, talk some more story and do some more fun stuff as we cleanse this evil land we'll probably go probably go over there that looks kind of oh no it's uh surrounded by the dark stuff but anyway if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button subscribe for more if you wanna but for now this is the mangoo signing off you guys have a good one mangoo